Hey everyone, it's Henry from Carbon Crowd coming to you from Brooklyn on a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Um, so what I want to talk about today are paper towels. So lately I've noticed that it's started to become incredibly popular to grow microgreens on paper towels. People see it as a super cheap and readily available medium. You know, the fact that you can grow on paper towels isn't really surprising because you can literally grow microgreens uh, anywhere. You can grow them in a wet tray just by leaving seeds and then forgetting them. You know, I've seen microgreens growing out of my sponge before. You know, I've looked at the ground by my water filter and seen them just growing right out of that. If you get the seeds wet for any prolonged period of time, they're probably gonna grow. So the fact that a medium's cheap and sort of works is just not a good reason to use it. And as you'll see in this video, um, there's plenty of other reasons to avoid using it as a medium. So let's head back to the farm and I'll break it down for you. So normally when I'm in the grow room, I'm gonna have a mask on, um, but I actually just got tested for COVID this morning and negative, so um, I'm not too worried about that, at least for today, which is why for this video, I'm not gonna have that on. Now let's just start with what should be pretty obvious to anyone who has tried to do this. You know, the physical properties of both paper towels, you know, regardless of how many flies it has, are just not ideal for growing microgreens. You know, it's relatively thin, and it's just not gonna be a good medium for rooting. Um, you know, like, yeah, you can grow roots in it, but it's gonna quickly turn to mush, like insanely fast. Now, maybe you think you've found a brand of paper towels that you think holds up pretty well when it gets wet, but uh, chances are that if this is the case, it's because some type of polymer was added to the wood pulp to give it enhanced wet strength. Some of the most commonly used additives to accomplish this are gonna be polyamidylamine epichlorohydrin resins. You know, even though manufacturing standards have definitely improved, uh, the productions of these resins are usually going to result in some level of carcinogenic byproducts in your paper towels. For example, one of these byproducts is 1,3-DCP, also known as dichlorohydrate, which is classified as a group 2B carcinogen and is believed to be a harmful mutagen. So another harmful byproduct is 3-MCPD, which is going to be another 2B carcinogen. Some of the other commonly used wet strength resins are urea formaldehyde and melamine formaldehyde, which is bad news, especially since the EPA has classified these as probable human carcinogens with the National Cancer Institute claiming that exposure to it can cause leukemia. And what's even worse is that when these chemicals are added, that's only done in acidic pH conditions and often requires the presence of aluminum sulfate none of which sounds like it would be good for your microgreens. Now there's actually a health blogger who asked Bounty about the formaldehyde issue, and in my opinion, their response was far from comforting. This is what they said. We do not intentionally add formaldehyde to our products, and we check that our raw materials do not contain formaldehyde either. Since we don't add or use formaldehyde in the processing of the product, we don't test for it in the finished product. It may be helpful to know that formaldehyde is a naturally occurring substance and can be detected in wood pulp at very low concentrations. We hope this helps. Wendy from the Bounty Team. Well, okay, Wendy, it kind of feels like you gave yourself a little bit of wiggle room there. And since formaldehyde are some of the least expensive resins, I'm a bit skeptical. So even if that is true and Wendy's being honest with us, it might just mean that they're using some of those uh, polyamidolamine epichlorohydrin resins that I mentioned earlier, which have those toxic byproducts. So in other words, it's a catch-22. The better your paper towel holds up under moist conditions, the more likely it is to have harmful additives to enhance its wet strength. So this right here is multi-ply paper towel, which means it's just got like uh, two layers there. Now, if you've been growing on paper towels, I'm guessing you've realized that the multiply stuff holds up a little bit better. Something you might not have considered is that there's glue used in multiply paper towels. So these glues are going to contain different ingredients like gelatin, glycerin, water, Epsom salt, and corn sugar. Now, these might not be the most harmful additives, but if you want to claim that your microgreens are vegan, then you shouldn't be using paper towels since gelatin and sometimes glycerin, depending on the source, these are animal products. And you also just don't want this stuff gunking up your grill in the first place. Which brings me back to the main point I've been trying to make, which is that paper towels have additives, toxins, and carcinogens that are used in their manufacturing after paper mills. 
mean, just think about it. I'm sure you've all seen trees and wood. Now, something you might have noticed is that it's not the same brilliant white like this paper towel roll right here. Now the reason for that is that paper mills use chemical processing and bleaching to get the wood pulp to this bright white color. Now there's a couple methods for doing that, but the most common method is to use chlorine, which can produce some highly toxic byproducts known as dioxin and furans. Now furans are considered to be a probable human carcinogen and should probably be avoided. Um, and dioxin is even worse and is an incredibly toxic group 1 carcinogen, meaning that it definitely causes cancer. And since it's fat soluble, it bioaccumulates in the body and once it's there, it's never going to leave. And you know, this is obviously something that you don't want in your microgreens. Um, and that's not it, they actually add even more. So paper towel manufacturers will also add surfactants and emulsifiers to their wood pulp. So for example, Procter & Gamble has admitted to including Cedar's Pen in their paper towel products. You know, this is something that actually goes into some other different beauty products too. And while this isn't as bad as dioxin or furans, these just are artificial chemicals that you just don't need in your grub. You just don't need it. Now, if all the chemicals and carcinogens weren't bad enough, there's also the environmental considerations with paper towels. I mean, you're talking about fossil fuel use, the subsequent greenhouse gas emissions, you know, air pollutants, and oftentimes pollution of water sources where the, right where the factory is. And, you know, these are huge industries. So you want to keep in mind that part of the reason that this stuff is so cheap is because these giant companies have massive economies of scale with their production which translates into more trees being cut down. Now, I don't necessarily want to demonize the people that work in the industry, but it might not be something that you want to support. Now, I already know what some of you are thinking. You know, well, I only use the high quality paper towels that are environmentally friendly because they use recycled papers. Well, I have some bad news for you. Paper mills, including those that use recycled paper, are incredibly dirty. In fact, Recycled paper towels have been shown to harbor between a hundred to a thousand times more bacteria than virgin wood pulp brands. Now I really couldn't tell you how this might affect your plants or your health, but if you're like me, then you're not trying to find out or use your customers as guinea pigs. It's just plain gross in my opinion. And unfortunately, like most recycled paper products, you're gonna run into issues with bisphenol A, commonly known as BPA, which is something that's been well established in the literature. So although you might feel better about using recycled paper products, you know, you're likely getting some levels of BPA seeping into your grow. And, you know, this is actually part of why conscientious brands like Seventh Generation have actually started to reduce the amount of post-recycled paper in their products just generally. Now in all likelihood, this would represent just a fraction of the total BPA that you're getting throughout the day. You're probably getting way more from other sources than paper towels. There's just, just another reason to not use them in your grows. You just don't need them. So at the end of the day, paper towels are simply a poor performing medium that really shouldn't be used under any circumstance. There's just no reason to do it. Yes, they're cheap, but to be honest, microgreens are already a high margin crop. You should be able to do well as a grower without needing to resorting to cutting corners and pinching pennies on your growing medium. Especially since paper towels really aren't going to have any nutrients for your plants compared to other mediums like soil, coconut choir, or really anything else. So if you're like me and you grow for the health benefits, it just doesn't make any sense to use this as a medium. But yeah, that just about covers everything. Hopefully you found the video to be helpful and informative. Like, subscribe, and share it. And you know, just get out there and get growing, just not on paper towels.